because I was pretty dang sure it was Mega Blocks that had the uh, Halo, had access to the Halo IP, but Mega Constructs is what we're doing today, and they're basically the off-brand of the off-brand, apparently, for Lego, but it's Halo Infinite, and it's War Dog, and we got Master Chief, and it was on clearance at Walmart, and I was like, so, um, we're gonna build this today for my enjoyment, but you can also watch if you must. Here's a kind of a weird flex for you, but a flex for sure, and that is I've never actually built a non-Lego set before. I've never built a, a Mega Blocks or a Mega Construct set. I've only ever had name brand Lego, so, uh, it sounds like a <laughs> like a rich boy flex, but I just, I would just save up my money, you know, and get the good stuff. Patience is rewarding. Um, anyway, so, I don't know why I put that away. We need that. So we're gonna build this, and I assume it's the same idea, but just with pieces that I'm gonna have never seen before, so. Imagine I open this manual and there are no pictures. It's just text in there, like through words, trying to describe which pieces go on which pieces on where. Can you imagine? So, uh, what you're going to want to do is take the green kind of arced one with the flat bit on the side and you're going to want to put it facing north south on the, uh, the half piece, that, that dark gray, kind of a charcoal color. You're going to put it on the second dot from the front left.
some people were like, oh, it's too much like Call of Duty, it's too fast or whatever, but I'm like, I don't know, you, it's one of those things where I'm glad the studio is kind of just doing what they want to do, keeping it authentic like they know what people want, but also kind of moving forward with the times a little bit, not too much, it still looks like Halo, the guns still look like they handle like Halo and all sorts of stuff, but you know, they took a couple creative liberties and did some. sliding, I can't remember if they're sliding or not, but there's vaulting, there's a grapple lock you can use, and stuff like that to kind of like modernize it a little bit, and I know that there will obviously be game modes that are just stripped down, like classic slay Slayer, classic Slayer, you know, no abilities, because they always have that in every game, so this will be no exception, um, so if you like the classic Halo experience, that will always be in there, but I'm really happy that they're you know, they're not just saying, ah, we're going to make it exactly the same. Um, and I'm also glad they're not changing everything. They're keeping uh, a good amount of authenticity while also trying to make sure it's actually fun for people because you might think that you want classic, old, slow Halo. But, you know, you might not like that for very long. Whereas if they make it fun and fast-paced and they make the skill ceiling nice and high, like... You know, more people will enjoy it for more time. So, so far, I like the look of it. This is a single piece. Interesting. I thought it was a combination of pieces. Um, so anyway, I'm stoked for Halo Infinite, but I'm nervous for it. Because I played a ton of Halo. Like, I'm good at Halo. Halo is why I'm good at other shooters and other FPS games. Um, because I played so much of it. But I played so much of it on Xbox, and um, on controller is really what I'm getting at here. And uh, I played a little bit of Master Chief Collection on PC when I got my PC, and it just, it was good. I, I didn't play that much of it, but I wasn't able to really get the hang of mouse and keyboard. I'm fine at mouse and keyboard. I really got the hang of it as time went on um, in general, but in games that I was already really used to, uh, controller, it has been very difficult, uh, slash impossible for me to get into on mouse and keyboard, so games like Apex Legends or Halo, I think those are the big two, Apex and Halo, uh, at least ones that I'm still playing on PC, um, Destiny, I think is also in that camp, I'm okay on mouse and keyboard Destiny, but uh, games that you play literally years of, and then suddenly you're trying to, like, learn mouse and keyboard, which in a lot of ways can be uh, better uh, because you can do more with it or be more precise or whatever but when you're just locked in enough <laughs> it is so hard to switch over so I've gotten discouraged on a couple games um, and yeah I don't know I, I think I always hit kind of a wall and eventually I'm like eh, I'd rather just stick with the controller and not be dog water at this game forever because there's only so much time I want to spend trying to practice a game that I don't play that often. So, that being said, I am going to recommit to learning mouse and keyboard on Halo Infinite because at least it's a new Halo game that hopefully will have been more designed for PC than usual or, you know, have been signed with PC in mind. Um, so I'm really hoping I can get the hang of it because I don't know. Like I'm blo I love Halo. So I'm stoked for Halo Infinite's multiplayer. Um, that's like my life, or it was like my life for a long time. And I could potentially get really into this multiplayer and get good, and you know maybe stream it or whatever if I get good enough. In it. But only if I can keep up on mouse and keyboard. So I'm really curious to see if I'm gonna be horrible at it, um, and it's gonna just be sad because of how good I used to be at Halo, or if I'll actually be able to keep up. Okay, I want to give a shout out to these um, directions, just because I've been so mean to this company. They do have something I really like, and I don't know if maybe modern LEGO sets do this too, but I haven't built one of those in a while, so I don't really know, but back in my day they didn't do this, but they'll actually color the dots that you'll be placing onto. So you see this, um, it's here, you got this and this, so you can see it's going to be hitting these two and these two, these two and these two. Um, if that makes sense. So they color the dots you're going to be landing on and it really helps you see where exactly
exactly the pieces are going. It's a little extra helping visual, and it's been actually really helpful on a couple of sections so far. So, the minifigs are dog crap, but everything since then has been good. The pieces feel fine. The directions are clear, and even more clear than some Lego ones I've dealt with. So, I wanted to give some credit where credit is due. Okay, looks like we're getting into some more details here. I need some of these. Okay, man, it's starting to get a little bit hot in here. It's actually not been as hot the last couple days, so I'm wearing a long sleeve and pants, but uh, slowly regretting it because the having lights on, like when I'm filming, like my filming lights, it heats things up a lot more than you. Still, my biggest game that I've had to 
as long. 
because they're made like this piece was obviously made to fit perfectly with this piece so like when you click it in it's kind of nice because everything kind of gets really snug that is one plus to the very uh, specific pieces okay this goes here yep okay we're working on
same thing. Here's the thing. 
think we're pretty much done. I'm curious why there's so many extras. Okay. I think it goes all the way up. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. Yep. Sick, dude. Radical, bro. So, that's the vehicle. Thank you.